I'm going to do a walkthrough of everything that I have going right now. This is actually a F1 hybrid uh, Savannah Mustard. I've tried it in that bed several times and they just keep getting tore up. I threw seeds on the ground. This one actually grew, so I made a little border for it. All of our Excelsior cucumbers looking real good. We've trimmed them out pretty good, but they still look great. I just want to show you all some of the ripening tomatoes, chocolate cherries. They're ripening. This plant had some disease, so we had to prune it back pretty good. These are green zebras. Nothing yet. Uh, Black Beauties, we had a, a big old one right here, but a worm went straight through it. My Cherokee Purples are finally turning. I got like four of them turning on there right now. Black Crims, I've already had a few of these. Indigo Blues, they are ripening. I have a few of those already too. Kellogg's, <clears throat> nowhere near ripening, ripening yet. I know they get really big. Paul Robeson. I've had a few of these as well. All the peppers we are waiting still for them to ripen. Hopefully they do. We, we're not even sure what most of them are. This here is a Arkansas Traveler. Kind of just hanging out by itself. We got the Queen of the Night. We got our pink brandy wine. One of two here. Looking good. Plenty of, plenty of pink brandy wines on there. We got our pineapple. This thing is just massive. Keeps growing and growing. And then of course we got our sun gold. You can see how many of these we've harvested. But it's just loaded. This one here, we got some. All those we've harvested. I mean, look at these plants, y'all. This plant's at least 10 foot tall now. And eh, maybe, maybe nine. Black Cram, got another one ripening there. Beauty King. The one I'm most excited about. Let me go around and show you guys. We have one here. Turning. Just absolutely beautiful. We got our Dragon's Tongue beans here. And these plants have blew my mind. Like, they're not even that old. And they have completely already produced a bunch of beans. And they look ready. Might come out and harvest these this weekend so that they'll throw another harvest out for us. And our Brad's Atomic Grape. Looking good. Really, really hard plant to grow. If anybody has any pointers, let me know. But we're trying. Uh, it's really not that prolific. That big tomato's been there for a while and it's still rock hard. Tasmanian chocolate. I actually just harvest one of these just a little while earlier. So I didn't get to get that one on the film. This is a dwarf variety. Super excited about this one. We have our blueberries here. We have a pink lemonade. And this one actually came from HEB. And the tag does not say, there's a tag, but it doesn't say exactly which variety it is. I don't know if I've shown these carrots, but this is all carrots. It's a melody blend, just a multicolored blend. And first time growing carrots, so hopefully we get something a little better than this little, little bitty tiny root crops. And we have pumpkins. These two are not doing as good, but these obviously took off. We're gonna do some more pumpkins there, or maybe watermelons. Uh, not sure yet. We have a few other things too, but we're not gonna cover those right now. Obviously our, our second brandy wine, pink brandy wine here, which is huge. This was a sun gold cutting. Grew this from cutting. Uh, it was like four inches tall and I put it right there. Threw some compost in there, a little fertilizer. And, and now it's probably five and a half foot tall. Built this little bed, thinking about throwing some soil in there and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what we decide to do. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Just a quick look at what we got going on. 
we're super excited about the fall season coming up uh, here soon we're gonna start some more tomatoes and peppers and uh, we have dates on everything else we need to start but thanks guys